More now in the search for a stolen trailer that had a hot air balloon inside. It was taken last weekend from a widow who was planning to fly in honor of her husband who recently died. Action 7 News anchor Royal Day tells us about a new lead for the family. I came over. We came over to fly the balloon, and now we don't have it to fly. Lucinda Wallace made a plea to Action 7 News viewers four days ago. He loves to fly. He flew balloons. He flies hot air airships. Launching at this fiesta would have been a tribute to her late husband, Rick, who died about two months ago. But her vehicle and trailer with her balloon inside were stolen from a Navalkirky hotel on Saturday morning. This one would have been the 34th year. And so the ballooning has meant a lot to our family. But today, Hope, loyal Action 7 News viewer Jeff Trujillo spotted a balloon in a dumpster and drove it to our station, hoping to heal the Wallace family's grief. We got our hopes up just for a moment, and, uh, but it wasn't the balloon. Disappointing, but a good reminder to all of us. We're encouraging all of Albuquerque to continue to be on the lookout. State police and other law enforcement are combing the area, too. They're all searching high and low, wherever they're at on the field. Uh, in the general areas. And though this kind hearted person may not have had the balloon, he's hoping his good intentions encourage the thieves to turn the balloon in. This New Mexico widow is devastated. They have taken something away from our family, and they've taken the joy that we were going to have in honoring my husband. In Albuquerque, Royal Day, KOAT Action 7 News. The stolen SUV is a 10 1994 Chevy Suburban. The balloon is blue with an American flag and rainbow across the top. If you know anything, call 242 COPS. Now, the man who found the balloon in the dumpster says he is keeping it and going to make tents out of it for his grandchildren.